In this video, I show you how to fix AirPlay not working on your Samsung TV. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. For the first fix, what we need to do is go to the AirPlay settings on our TV. So to do that, you first need to go and open up your TV settings. So either what you can do is go on your remote and tap on the settings button, or alternatively, if you don't have that button, just go and tap on the home button on your remote, and then you can just go and tap to the left a few times, and you'll then see the settings sort of gear icon, and you can then tap on it, and your settings will open. Then what you need to do is just tap down to general just using the downwards arrow and in general then scroll down and you'll go and see the option for apple airplay settings and then go and tap ok you'll then be in the airplay settings and the first thing you want to do is just make sure airplay is set to on if it's set to off then all you need to do is just tap ok on your remote or select and it'll then go and change the setting however if it's already on and it's not working then what i recommend doing is just turning it on and off just tap ok or turn it off tap OK again and it'll turn it back on. That's the first thing I recommend trying. So once you're sure that it's turned on, the next thing I recommend doing is just restarting your TV because this is just going to refresh everything. So go to your wall outlet and simply go and unplug it. And I recommend unplugging it for 10 seconds just to make sure that all the power completely drains out. You could even go even longer, maybe 30 seconds as well. And then after that time has passed, just go and plug it back in and see if it will then work. If that still isn't working, then what I recommend doing is trying to update your TV. So to go and do that, all we need to do is head back to our TV settings. So either go on to remote and then tap on that settings button or what you can do is go and tap on the home button and then tap along to settings uh, just like you did before. Then once you can see your settings you'll need to go and tap down to support like so and then go and tap ok or select on that. And then what you can do is at the top of the support settings we then have the option for software update so go and tap on that there. You'll then be on sort of the software update menu and you can then go and tap on the update now button and your TV will then go and try and check for updates. And this may take a few minutes to go and check. And if there are any, it's going to go and do them for you. And yeah, in my case, there's no new available. So if things still aren't working, then what I recommend doing is coming onto your phone or your app or Apple device you're using because it may be an issue with that. And the first thing I recommend doing on your device is making sure you're on the same Wi-Fi network because this is one of the main reasons why it may be failing. So to do that, you just open up your settings on your device, go and tap on Wi-Fi and make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi network. If you've got things like internet boosters throughout your house, make sure you're using the same one as your TV is, that's really important. If that still isn't working, then what you can do as well is try restarting your iPhone. To do that, you can either just go and fully turn it off and shut it down and turn it back on. In order to go and restart your iPhone, there's a button combination you need to press, and that is the increase volume button, then the decrease volume button, and then just hold the power button. You'll then go and see a screen which says like slide to power off, but just keep holding your power button. Your iPhone screen will then go black and you can let go of your power button. And then you'll go and shortly see the Apple logo probably after 10 seconds and your phone should go and restart. If it doesn't, just hold your power button and it will turn back on. And hopefully that should then go and fix all your problems. If you guys found this useful, then please consider leaving a like. Peace.